Hey what's up everyone, welcome to FX Maniac again, this is Sayed Mahmoud Amiri and welcome to the part 2 of the SodaCan modeling and rendering using Maya and Arnold. So in the first tutorial, first part, we've just modeled this uh, can, um, you know, and then in this tutorial I'm just going to show you guys how to texture this and light it using Arnold and you know, uh, you know, just finish it off, you know, so. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to we've separated these parts right so in order to get, uh, get the texture you can actually go to Google and texture uh, like search for Pepsi texture and you can get it or you can search for coke or any other sort of drinks that you want but in this case I'm using the Pepsi so I am going to go back to Maya so I have the texture first off I just need to apply the texture so I'm just going to go into right click uh, assign new material and I'm going to go to shader AI standard surface and just right click and go to material attributes in the color I'm just going to add a file and I'm just going to click and here is my folder so I'm just going to select this texture and apply and hit 6 uh, you can see that I've actually assigned it to the wrong object so this one I should assign so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go to existing material AI standard surface 1 or maybe the other one is there which one is it so let's see here material attributes um, why is this not working uh, let's just see here so I'm just going to select everything and assign the AI standard surface it's six this is pretty weird I'm just going to select this one more time. Material attributes, yeah, as standard surface, color, and file. And then I'm just going to select it and then go into this one and open. And that's it. And these two, I'm just for the for the time being, I'm just going to add a blend material. So yeah. So you can see the texture is not really wrapping up around the model like just the right way so what I'm going to do is just very quickly go into UV and since it is a cylindrical object I'm going to cylindrical and just click it and you can see it's there but we need to fix it so I'm just going to first off close this and now you can see it's there and if you want to scale it you can just click on this little uh, I don't know what it is just this little red thing and then you can just like scale it down or just generally sort of scale it but I'm just going to just move it down and just scale it up just like that so now you can see it's pretty pretty neat so that's all we had to do for the texturing very good right so yeah and then just uh, select this part and that part and just apply the blend material for now so don't get any anything there so I'll just yeah, three on all of these yeah and for the top part uh, first off if I, I I need to create a studio lighting I'm, I'm just doing a studio lighting setup for this so what I can do is I can just go ahead and create a plane and just scale it up and the plane is also having that texture so I'm going to do is I'm going to add a Lambert for that and control A going to the channel box and decrease these to one and hit uh, this edge and just shift drag shift drag it up and slightly move it to this side and then shift drag it up and hit three so this is basically how you create a seamless sort of background and then just scale it up really like a lot and then move it so it's on the flat area if I zoom in here you can see that we've got like you know I can just go ahead and then select this edge and move it up so we don't see the top and these two sides just I mean you can just select these verts and just move it I want to make, I want to make sure it covers the entire area so if I hit F on this and go around hit 3 you can see that we have a seamless sort of background so yeah that's a thing and then if I add some lights here 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a three point lighting and then I'm just going to select this edge and just move it in a little bit. Just like that. So, yeah. And then I'm going to go into Arnold Lights and I'm going to add Aerial Light at 7 and scale it up. And uh, just let's see here if it's lighting up. It's not lighting up because it is uh, not that bright. So I'm going to go Control A and increase the exposure to maybe like 10. Just like that. And the other thing that I forgot is I need to create a metal metallic material for the top parts and the bottom part. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click, sign new material, shader, AI standard surface. And then I'm just going to increase the metalness and the decrease the roughness. So we can, we can, we can adjust them later. So uh, I've added the lights and I can just control D this and move it to this side. And just rotate it, hit J to snap the rotation, and control D again to kind of. I'm just going to add it from the front view, so yeah, just move it up slightly, and that's it. And just decrease the brightness or increase it, and then we can change the color. I mean, you can change this to maybe like a bluish sort of color. This one to maybe red or orange. Let's see here. And I'm just going to go and see. I'm going to go into the render and then select Arnold. Just click the play button. And you can see that we are getting the uh, object. But the thing is, first off, this color is a little too bright. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to material attributes and just decrease the color just a little bit darker. So now it's okay, but uh, this light, the front light that is there, uh, if I select it here, it doesn't have to cast shadows. So cast shadows off. So here and then the other thing you can see is that the bottle is actually not having that much of a reflection so I'm just going to go material attributes and decrease the roughness so you can see now we are we are having some reflection but it's not that much so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to increase the middleness a little bit and the roughness just a little bit yeah and the other thing I'm going to do is uh, just go into this material and probably material attributes decrease the middleness, like not so much, and the roughness, or maybe increase the roughness. So we get sort of, yeah, that sort of a result. And then to make it look even better, um, I need to. I may need to increase the metalness on this a little bit more. So material attributes, the metalness. Just like this, yeah. Now it's okay. I need to add a sky dome light for an HDR lighting. And then what I'm gonna do, you can see now it's looking a lot more better, but I need to increase uh, or I need to introduce a an HDRI image into the color slot. So what I'm going to do, you can you can go ahead and download some HDRs. There's plenty of websites, HDR Haven. You can go there and download. Uh, but I do have some premium, uh, like some HDRs in my PC. So I'm just going to click load. So you can see some uh, some are there. You know, some different environments. Maybe I'll choose this one, or maybe a different one. Uh, here is I'm using the Video Copilot's backlight um, HDRs, so they have like plenty of high-res uh, images that you can use. So I'm just going to pick one, maybe good one, maybe uh, let's see here. Can't really find a good one. Yeah, this one, yeah. 
So you have that, and then you can see that as, as soon as it loads, you can see the difference in your scene. So that sort of lighting is now applied to your scene, and you're getting it. And I think this one is looking a little bit... I think the color on this is a little strong, so I'm just going to decrease the color. I think now it's, it's fine. It's, maybe now it's a little too dark. I can just increase this. Diffuse roughness in the color. And I can increase the middleness actually to a lot. So yeah, it's there, but it's also reflecting the environment around it. So you can see that, you know, it's it's actually looking pretty cool. And now you can you can go ahead and play around with the lights. You know, control A and just, you know, maybe just make the color a little bit more stronger. Or even this color, intensity, a little bit more. Maybe not that much, but yeah. Maybe change this to red. Look a bit better. Yeah. So you can see it's there, but it, it is also reflecting the environment. So that's, that's, that's a cool thing about it. And... You can you can go ahead and change your environment. You know, you, you can have plenty of you know different images. I mean, there's a lot to choose from, so you can choose like a different one, maybe this one. And as soon as that loads, it's gonna affect your your whole like scene. You know, so now you're having a different sort of reflection and lighting to your scene, you know, so it's it's pretty cool, I would say. And then the other thing you can do also is like, you can you can control how much of it is affecting this, so you can go ahead and increase the intensity of this, you know, or the exposure, or decrease it even. So, you know, it's all up to you, you can, you can all, like, just just do it however you like it and however it feels more realistic but this is the way you would do it and then finally for a rendering uh, for a final render I'm just going to take a shot like here and then I'm just going to go to viewport 2.0 you can see that here it's actually looking pretty pretty cool pretty neat you know so it's actually looking more better than the render <laughs> so yeah you know, so it's, and you can turn on the ambient occlusion, screen space ambient occlusion, which will even look a lot more better. So, yeah. And I'm going to go into the render settings, and I'm just going to go into the uh, for the final result. I'm just going to go and increase the metalness all the way up. Let's see how it looks. Yeah, it's looking pretty. It's just a little bit too much, but I think it's okay. And then I'm just going to increase the camera AA to 4 and the specular to 3. And I'm going to get a full HD 1080 frame. And just render. You know, hit render and we'll wait and see how it looks. Okay, so here's our result. And I think we can do a bit of tweaking here in the... In the render view too, but I think we can we can make the background a little bit more darker since it is reflecting a lot of light. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to select this plane and just go into material attributes and make it dark. It's not reflecting that much light, and it's I think it's it's looking a lot more realistic in the viewport, a lot more better, a lot more cooler than it is in the render. But you know, let's see let's see one more time. I'm a different, a uh, little bit of a zoom now, sort of a view. So just click render and we'll wait and see how it looks. All right, so here's a render, and this time I think it's a little bit dark, but yeah, it's the you get the result right. So that's 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 our final result. And you can go ahead and go into save image, uh, color manage, apply and close, and just save it. You know wherever you want and then that's that's basically a render you know and that is how you model and you know how you texture and light and material a Pepsi can
using Maya and Arnold. And, you know, to be honest, this one looks better in the viewport than it is in the render, but it's okay. So, yeah, this is the tutorial, uh, the second part done. Maybe I'll do one more part where I'll add some, you know, water drops and stuff. Uh, maybe in the next tutorial, so who knows, just I'll, I'll do it. And uh, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, make sure to subscribe, FX Maniac. It would mean a lot to me, you know. Uh, just go ahead and you know subscribe to my channel uh, like the videos comment whatever you've missed from the tutorial so I'll be more than glad to answer and uh, it would help me and my channel and me especially to continue making these tutorials for you guys so thank you again and as I always say till next time enjoy working